control n n sorry and then make sure to click the print and then try to locate the a4 tapos make sure to click the landscape and title is photoshop tutorial part 2 for your color mode make sure it's rgb and 16 bit again and create and this time, we have this one. Try to insert here the images that we will be using. So, what we will in class is number 3 and number 5. Okay. For number 3, we will insert it here. And then, zoom it in or expand it. Expand it. Something like that. And press the check or enter. This time, class, as you can see, as you will notice, oh, this image can be moved anywhere. You can place it here. You can place it here. Okay, depending on din gusto. That's not how we want it to be. Okay? We only want it to stay in its own position, in its certain position. And it's like that. We don't want our move tool to be moving it anywhere. So what you want, what you have to do is this. Click this lock icon in the layer tab. In the layer, yeah. Lock icon, this one. Hopefully you're following. I click mo ito, yeah. And after clicking that one, you cannot move this image anywhere. Nakalak na ito tita. Okay? Kung tanggal mo one lock liwat, mamumove mo na ito balik. So, galak talaga this time because we want it na nakalak la and that it will not be moving anywhere. The next thing that we should do is to insert the ball here in this image, in this canvas. Okay? Click lang nato ni Nia and drag to our computer. Now, if the tendency, the problem is there mo yung madrag hay mo canvas, you can just click file, place link, and then locate the image and then double click, and it's there already. Press enter. Okay. Pero for me, because it's um it's ano kaya ni nagagamit ko yah, I can just click and drag it to my computer, like that, and then press enter. Okay. Now the next thing that we should do, the second step that we should do this time is to erase the background of our image because we don't want this image to place it like that nga bagat it's so unrealistic no there we don't want it to happen like that what we want it is to be trans to, to this ball to become transparent to make it transpa to make it transparent first and foremost is to use the eraser tool there are two steps class huh? there are two steps to erase the background of this ball First step is to use the eraser tool. Right click ka lang and then magic eraser tool. And then erase mula niya din nga part. Now it appears. Could not use magic eraser because no layers are selected. So let's click this one. Then click. And then another pop out appears. This smart object must be rasterized. So you just have to click OK. And then again click. And then as you can see, may dan niya white particles or white part din na ta bottom. For what reason class? Let's understand first the magic eraser tool. It magic eraser tool, whenever you click anywhere, it only erases the part of a certain image. Nga pareho niya ang hue, pareho niya luminance, pareho niya saturation, pareho niya color. We see for example, if I erase this color orange, ah, niya i-erase na part. Ah, mula ito dita. Okay? If I erase ko ang color white, ah, niya i-erase, ah, dita lang ang part. Pero ang bottom part, there. For what reason? Because our image, as you can see here, has a shadow. So basically, pwede mo lang gamitan yung eraser, magic eraser tool, and you can erase again here, erase again here, and erase, and erase. Pero the problem of the magic eraser tool is that it, there are a lot of particles that remains. Di riyas sugad ka, limpyo ang trabaho. Tapos kung nakita ka mo di diha sides, man, Medyo bagat ginuntingan. So, tsaka niya, tsaka niya trabaho ang magic eraser tool. That's why we will not be using the magic eraser tool in this tutorial. What we will be using is, balik nato na kanina, control C, alright, is the marquee tool. Man, this one. Letter M from your, in your computer. You just press letter M in your computer. From rectangular marquee tool, convert it to elliptical marquee tool. Now, in the elliptical marquee tool, you just have to click and drag. I mean, click and drag, not drag. Click and drag. Tapos, try to fit the circle into you, 
into the ball. Now, notice. Um, I can, bagat, I can freely move this selection anywhere. Because as you can see, di daha ubos it on Photoshop, Alt, Shift, Space. That's what I'm pressing right now in my keyboard. I'm pressing the Alt, Shift, the Alt, sorry, sorry. I'm pressing the Alt, Shift, and Space. Okay? Now, this time, let's understand the purpose of the Alt, Shift, and Space. First, marquee tool. The Shift helps us to create a perfect circle. Okay? It helps us to create a per perfect circle. Now, combined with Shift, it helps us to create a perfect circle from the center. Okay, nakita niyo nag-move from the center. Hopefully, you're seeing it, the selection. It moved. Okay? Now, the purpose of space is to be able to move the selection anywhere. So, that's the combination of the three. Pwede ka actually gumamit ang shift, pero it's a bit problematic kung hindi ka magamit ang alt and also ang space. Pwede ka lang gumamit bisan mo rin alt, pero I highly suggest gumamit ka Okay, para mas malak sila pag human circle. Okay? Alt, shift, and space. Then, try to trace the image. Siguro, di rin mo perfectly matri-trace class because there's no such thing as perfect. Di rin natin yung perfect for one reason. First, the image itself is not a perfect circle. The ball itself is not a perfect circle. Okay? Sa mga di rin talaga ito natin mapaperfect. So, as if talaga ito yung may the other parts and ball lang, adira open. So, it's still okay. There's no problem about that. Okay? Okay. Pero kung OC ka talaga, pwede bahala ka. Kung i-open mo pa ito yan. May naman kita magic wand tool, pwede mo lang ito i-add dida. Like that. Pero, I suggest, ayaw na. Okay? So, this time, we're done with this. Again, go back to the market tool. We either con um layer via cut or layer via copy. Wait lang. Make sure nga naka-rasterizing na. Rasterize na yun. This one. Um, either we click the layer via cut or layer via copy. Okay? If we click the layer via cut, this is what will happen. Our image separates from the original image. Okay? So this time, there na nato na di gagamitin. And let's just delete this one. Either you press delete from your keyboard or right click and click delete layer. Or click and drag this to the crush can. Okay? This is now our ball. Kaya may natong bola. All we have to do this now is to shrink it. Di ba maram na ka muna? Ano pag shrink? Okay, di ba maram ka mo? Control T to transform the image. And then, pagot yan yung taya. To the point, nga baga yan na adi didi. It's part of the floor. It's on the floor. Okay, adi yung floor. Something like that. There talagang sa center because we want it something like in the rule of thirds. May guyahan rule of thirds. Siguro something like that. Siguro, yeah, that's it. Siguro perfect yan. Siguro duro da kulada yan duro. Bago rin tayo rin natin. Ubus-ubus pa. Yeah. Yeah, basically that's our image. And it's still unrealistic to look at. Ang image, medyo nalutaw pa. So the next thing that we should do is to create here our yes, to create here a shadow. There are two things to do in creating a shadow class. There are two things to do in creating a shadow. The first is right-click. Uh, the basic thing is to use the blending options and then drop shadow and then change the opacity, something like that, and then the distance, adjust on mula. So, dito. Other people would do it that way. Pero, di ba, as you can see, bakit medyo yung yeah, problematic lagi like, hapon na niya to look at. There, ito yung muna itong idea. It's, that's not how we want it to be. Okay? So, listen on how I'm going to do it. First, create a new layer. And in that new layer, I want you to use the brush tool. And after using the brush tool, use the black color and then change its hardness from 100 to 0%. Okay. Now, after that, I want you to press here. Or press anywhere from the canvas. Make sure lang you are selecting the layer number 2. Layer 2. Okay? That's our shadow. And this shadow should be placed beneath the ball. Okay? Now, as you can see, 
that shadow is on top of the ball. Pwede rin on top nga di diri class. Pero on top, han layer ba? Nabaw-baw-baw hiya. Man, this one, nakakover na ito image. Nakakover na bola. So what we're going to do is move this layer to downward. Something like that. And still, it's unrealistic. So what we're going to do is to edit it that it's as if it's part of the ball. Mabagayahin. Um, something like that. Mabagayahin. Yeah, bagay talaga yung shadow nga nag pass by. Something like this one. And then, again, I'm just adjusting it. I'm adjust ko lang. Siguro something like that. Medyo dako la ay pa iya, dako la ay pa ang bola, pero it's actually good. Good na iya. Dako la ay pa shadow, pero medyo okay naman iya. Again, adjust pa. The, um, to the point nga, content ko kanahan mo shadow. Kung hindi ka pa content, you just continue editing. Up to the point nga, content ka na. Alright. So, that's the third part. Third step. We place already the shadow. Haton bola. Pero, still, it's a bit unrealistic. Ito kung nga, dari pa perfect. Our idea here is, our light is coming from the right. So, an aton left part should be purely shadow. Ini din ni shadow lahi ya. While here should be the highlights. Okay? Highlights did the pit while did the shadow. So, what we're going to do next is to insert shadow for the ball. Okay? Kaya naman pwede nga bola wara yung shadow. So, to do that, again, press layer 1 and then click a new layer to create a new layer. And after that, use again the brush tool Paguti ayun mo yaguti. Still on 0%. And then make sure that from here, you create something like this one. Yeah, something like that. And it's perfect na. And that's all. Wait, oh, pa. pa. Um, to finish that, para it's a bit, um, yeah, to, to complete that, complete that step right click mo didi and then create clipping mask now as you can see may dana shadow and aton bola pero it's too much so what we're going to do is move la nato na natin shadow siguro something like this one something like that siguro no 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 something like that yeah, something like that. Tapos, siga just an aton class and aton bola and aton shadow din ni. Let's just edit it. Siguro something like overlay, soft light, hard light, multiply, ano ba mga upay? Darken, linear. Alright. Adjust na aton niya um, opacity. Siguro something like that. Tapos, adjust again na aton. Let's mask this one to edit certain part of the image. Na medyo harsh niya shadow. Para po mayon, this part medyo harsh yeah something like that and then yeah it's good I guess and adjust the fill no not the fill but the opacity yeah, like that okay it's a bit good pero still not perfect for the reason nga nakita ka mo dapat kasi um, there is what we call the connection or transition nga darkness from here until here has shadow so natong shadow move natong niya tikadi and let's add another shadow here, shadow part in the image. Let's just copy this layer number three. Control J to copy it, and then mask, and then balik nato na niya zero, something like that. I just nato na niya. something like that. And then this time, I just nato na niya masking. Oh, sorry. Alright. Aham. May ako problem. This one. Aniya. Image is. Dapat. Something like that. Yeah. 
Would you like that? And last part, ah, uh, now second to the last, siguro what we can do is to add more shadows, DD. Let's click a new layer and then create. And then, just a naton. Place it here beneath that one to create a shadow. Oops. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Again, create a new layer and then here, and kita para waray line part. And then move na natin this one. All right, let's try to see. Oh, hop, may dapat sobra. Dito siguro. Yep, something like that siguro. May just too much siya, pero sige lang. Right. Okay, basically that's our image. And to finalize it, Siguro medyo dark, dark lang doon natin shadow. Yeah. Yan. Siguro to finalize this one, let's add a flare effect. Yep, a flare effect. Let's add. Okay. What I did is, um, what I'm going to do is to create a new layer. And after creating a new layer, Use the paint bucket tool, press letter G in your computer, and then click here. Make sure na color black lasta, color black para maging color black dina. And after that, go to filter, go to render, lens flare, and then siguro ito ba natong gagamitin or adi? Let's try to check. This one or this one? Ano mo pa? Siguro ito the best day tuya. Tapos brightest natin is 118. And let's press OK siguro. Yup. Mm hmm. The best of it, yeah? No, add the pa, add pa. Add the pa hin light. More light pa, more light. Um, siguro mga 120, siguro mga 125 brightness. Yeah, something like that. And then, let's make this as green. And basically, this is the final product of our image. Again, how I did it? Simple, nasa din eh. First, First is you insert the backdrop the backdrop here. Okay, insert one backdrop. After inserting the backdrop, next is you insert the ball. The bagin tangal tanya background. We erase the background using the marquee tool. We copied the selection or we cut the selection. Tapos this is already the ball that we selected. And after that, gin um gin shrink tayo. So that it can fit the daha ubos. It's as if it's part. Yeah, it's on the floor. And after that, we place our first shadow, which is this one. In place our first shadow. And then the next step that we did is we add a shadow in this part. This one. Okay? And we're still a bit, um, we find it nga a bit kulang pan shadow. So we added another shadow. At the bottom, and then another shadow at the bottom here. To make it more, aga again, a bit realistic. Okay? Pero again, if you find it too much, you find it kulang pa, it depends on you. So it depends on your um decision making na lang. It depends on your decision making. Again, if you're an artist, it depends on you. Kung para mo, it's perfect na. It depends on you. And after this one, we find it na perfect na ya, we added a flare. Pero if you notice, if you notice lang ha, if you notice, nga diri pa ya perfect because sir nagkukulang pan highlights di di What I'm going to do with that? If you think na there nga kulang pa niya highlights, you can add a highlight. Okay, to add a highlight, okay? To add a highlight na so ni. Click again here in the layer 3 copy and then click this one. A new layer, create a new layer and then create clipping mask. Right click and create clipping mask. Okay, brush tool and make sure to choose white. Ngan paguti ayun mo na an imo brush. And by this time, create 
the highlight. Something like that siguro. If you think nga too much lewat ang highlight, pwede mo lewat adjust na niya opacity. Ang fill and opacity. All right. Yun. Pero if you think liwat nga medyo um sobra liwat ang highlight, pwede mo na ito tanggalon. Okay, pwede mo na ito tanggalon. So, that's it. We added with the flare effect and that's it. That's for our image. Um two images combined to create one whole image. Actually, pwede pa dito mag edit glass as if there are only one image. Highlight mo lang ang tanahan, control G, tapos copy so that you have a copy, copy image, tapos merge group and convert to smart object. Yep, and then filter, tapos render siguro. Ano ba maupay? Fiber? Um, pixelate? No, facet. Dari, dari lang ganang facet. Siguro nga di kita ha, ah, uh, hum, image. Kasi po-posterize na lang natin. Posterize. Something like that na lang siguro. And then, adjust the tool natin na niya camera raw filter to make it perfect na editing. So, temperature. Want it blue? Alright, I'm just um gin I'm just editing na lang basing on my um preference. Huh? It depends on you na lang. Actually, it depends on you. It's the preference ko lang niya. Yep. Alright. So as you can see from from this one to this one. Okay. From this one to this one. And so yun. That's how we edit our image from two layers to this.